Hi there. We present a paper for Docformer which does end-to-end -end document understanding using transformers. We first discuss the problem and prior art. We then talk about our contributions, after which we show Docformer performance on various datasets. Finally, we talk about various ablations. Visual document understanding or VDU is a relatively new area of research where the general goal is to make sense of content present in documents. What is interesting about this domain is that an approach needs to consume all three modalities, visual, language, and layout for superior performance. Here we show two popular datasets. One is D on the left, where the task is sequence labeling, and RVL CDAP on the right, where the task is to classify each document. Next, we briefly look at existing multimodal approaches and where Docformer differs from them. Most approaches combining vision and language roughly fall into three categories as shown in type A, type B, and type C. We propose a category of multimodal learning called discrete multimodal where visual and spatial features interact individually with language in each layer. We argue that spatial and visual dependencies differ across layers. In each transformer layer, visual and spatial, uh, visual and language features separately undergo self-attention with shared spatial weights. This shared weights in spatial domain cause correlation of uh, information across modalities, thereby addressing the cross-modality feature correlation issue often found in multimodal learning. Let's take a deeper look at Docformer's approach. Docformer follows the common pattern of unsupervised learning followed by supervised fine-tuning on downstream tasks. We make contributions both in the transformer architecture and pre-training tasks. We briefly show our multimodal self-attention formulation where in each layer, vision denoted by alpha v and text alpha t self-attend independently. Making visual and spatial information accessible across layers acts as an information residual bottleneck, thereby aiding in superior feature representation. Here we show a more detailed visualization of multimodal self-attention. Again, note that spatial weights shown in red arrow are shared across modalities. Please look at our supplemental paper for pseudocode and implementation details. Docformer was pre-trained using three unsupervised tasks, binary cross-entropy classification, language task using multimodal features, and reconstruction tasks. Tasks were carefully designed to encourage collaboration of visual, language, and spatial features. Let's have a look at our experiments. We'll first look at our Docformer's performance on FunSD, a form dataset. We can see that both Docformer base and large model beats previous state-of-the-art model layout LMB2. On the right plot, we show that it does this by pre-training only on 5 million pre-trained documents versus 11 million as used by prior art. This gives an indication that our approach is data efficient. We next look at Docformer's performance on RBL CDIP classification dataset. We can see that Docformer base in red beats all other base and large prior art. Some models four times as big as Docformer base. And it does this by beating them by large margins. We finally look at called a receipt dataset. Here too, Docformer base and large variants beat prior art. Please see paper for more state-of-the-art performance on other datasets. Here we briefly look at our uh, qualitative visualization. Please look at our supplemental section for mode visualizations across datasets. Finally, let's look at ablation and analysis section. Table 8 shows ablation on various pre-training tasks. We can see that all pre-training tasks have an impact on downstream task performance. We also observe that different tasks impact different downstream datasets differently. Table 9, we show the ablation on Docformer components. We, we clearly see that multimodal self-attention has significant impact on downstream performance. On Table 5, we show ablation on shared spatial weights. We can clearly see that sharing spatial weights help model correlate features across modalities, vision and language. Without shared weights, it not only increases parameters, but also decreases performance. More ablations can be found in the paper. Thank you for listening.